Hey guys, what's going on? Steve and I have a 2018 Ford Edge here in the garage and it's throwing a code, so we gotta get ready to put a coil pack in it. The engine code we get in is a PO302, which points to a cylinder two misfire. And we'll show you how to do it. We're gonna pop the engine cover off here. Just got some little rubber grommets underneath here. Let's pop this off. We'll set this aside. And so we had a PO302 cylinder two misfire. This is our coil pack for it right here. We've got a little clip we're gonna slide back right here, slide it, and then we can squeeze it and unplug it. We're gonna keep that to the side. We've got a little eight millimeter um, bolt back here on the coil pack right here. And we're gonna get in here with that eight millimeter, crack that loose. This is a real easy repair, guys. Yeah, real easy. Now, we went with a standard ignition coil, and there was about six different ones. And, you know, I mean, we like to use an OEM stuff, too, but the Motocraft one, you know, our cost was like 65 bucks, and we got a standard ignition coil, which is a quality pot for 22 bucks. Yep. So, you know, we were comfortable going that route, and, um, you know, nice to do OEM, but you know, you're talking three times the cost there. So we're gonna match that coil up. Everything looks the same. The plug connectors are the same. And we're gonna put a little, a little bit of dielectric grease down inside the connector in here. Okay. We're gonna slide our coil pack down in place. Let's get our bolt, tighten up our bolt. Now we've tuned this thing, so we know we don't have an issue with the spark plug. And it, it, we had a really heavy rainstorm and parking lot was flooded where the vehicle was. And you know, when they drove through the puddle, a little water probably splashed up and um, we're trying to attribute that to it. But you know, these coils can just wear out. So not a, not a big deal. So we got a new coil, we're gonna tighten it down till it's snug. Yeah, that's snug. And that goes into a plastic intake, so you don't want to really over tighten that bolt. Just want to make sure it's snug. We're going to plug our connector in, slide our clip on, give it a little tug. It's nice and tight. And that's it. We're just going to pop our cover back on it, fire it up, and um, should be running smooth. We'll have Ricky start it up right now. Oh, you can hear that muffler, huh? Yeah. It really kind of can. Okay, running great. All right, shut them off. So we're going to put this on, and you know, I put a little dielectric grease in here at one time just to line them up. So you just try and get one to line up, and then the other one's kind of fall in place, and then you push them down so that they're locked. And that's going to be it. And all the, if you, any one of your coils to change, it's going to be the same exact procedure. 